Hey guys, I'm Rick and welcome back to Maple Syrup Tech. And now we're at step two of our Ryzen 1700 build. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be optimizing cooling. For that we're going to be installing our all-in-one cooler which is the H100i V2 from Corsair. And we're going to be installing the NZXT 3 fan kit. So RGB fans, we're putting two at the top and we're going to be replacing the fan at the back. So basically, and finally, we're also going to be installing some uh, extensions, so some cable mods that fit in with the uh, black and white build that we have going on here for the motherboard and the components. So we're going to be finalizing that as well. And all this is possible thanks to Corsair. Finally sent over our AM4 adapter kit. So we're going to be using that to be able to finally install the H100 IV2. And we're going to be able to finally overclock this beast to the top. So hopefully we're going to be able to hit at least 3.9 with ideally in a dream world maybe 4.0 with a 1700. We'll see. Um, in the meantime I was fiddling around with the system and I actually finally got the, the RAM running with four DIMMs at 2666. I was uh, topping out at 2400 but with the last uh, BIOS update that ASRock released, the 2.10 I believe, uh, I finally am able to hit 2666 even though the kit is, uh, is rated for 3000. So ideally maybe in a little bit we'll be able to hit that 3000 that it's rated for. So I hope you guys stick around for the build. I'm going to uh, pop the camera in close up and we're going to start working on installing the all-in-one cooler. So uh, that's going to be time-lapsed with the installation of the fans and the cable mods. And uh, we're probably going to end with a final look at the build and maybe even a quick overclocking session to see what exactly kind of scores and where we're at. So stay tuned, guys.
guys, we're back, and I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse. Here is the finished product. Now, I'm really satisfied, not only visually, but performance wise. Uh, the upgrade was really worth the, the extra money I put into the system. Number one, with the all in one cooler, I'm now able to go up to 3.9 uh, gigahertz on the CPU. Unfortunately, mine does not go any higher than 3.9, even if I up the voltage to 1.425. But for, since it's a Ryzen 1700, I'm really satisfied hitting 3.9. It's what I was hoping to get at least. 4.0 would have been more than, more than what I wanted, but unfortunately this one will not get there. Um, the fan system in the back too, so the RGB fans, uh, have really helped with the cooling on the graphics card and the CPU as well. Uh, with the Ryzen Spire and the basics fan setup, I was getting delta temperatures of about uh, 62 degrees. So that means 62 degrees above the room temperature. However, with the all-in-one cooler, that delta temperature is, bad, is down to, 60, uh, to 42 degrees, sorry about that. So 20 degrees lower, uh, even with a higher overclock because the Ryzen Spire, I wasn't comfortable going any higher than 3.7 and 1.325 volts. With the all-in-one cooler, I'm getting only a delta of 42 degrees at uh, basically 3.9 and 1.375 volts. So honestly, if you guys are looking to overclock your Ryzen 1700, you know, to the max, and you don't wanna necessarily affect its lifespan with high temperatures, I would really recommend going with either a really good tower cooler or an all-in-one like I did today. It's really worth it for the money in the end if you want to push your system to the max and you're gonna end up keeping the system for a long time. Um, Secondly, honestly, productivity tasks have been awesome with the CPU. Gaming, I can't say anything negative about it. Of course, you might be able to hit you know, higher frame rates on the 7700, but you're not going to really notice the dif difference most of the time. And for productivity tasks, it, it's awesome. Like it, it basically has lowered my render times by uh, over like 70% to compared to my old FX processor that I had in my old system. Um, also, I put in the custom sleeving here, which uh, really just adds uh, another touch to the look on in the system. It matches the black and white on the motherboard, so I'm really happy with what I got. Uh, the only thing missing, like I said in my first video in the original build, by the way, I'll have it linked in the bottom for you that didn't see the building of the original system before I did the cooling upgrade. Um, I'm looking for, uh, I'm basically only missing a second RX 480 that I'm going to put in here. Um, the only thing right now is Vega is so close around the corner. I might be waiting and pulling out the RX 480 and putting a Vega in, but uh, I'll be deciding that over the next few weeks. So keep tuned to the channel and you will see the final part of the upgrade, which will be the graphics processor. Um, anyway, uh, I'm really satisfied with it and I'll give you guys a look with the panel on because this is open air because I wanted you guys to see the, co the components really well. So with the panel on, we've got a nice finished system. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions uh, or comments or anything, uh, very shortly in the next few days, you'll also be getting a more detailed analysis on the temperatures for the system. I'm going to be comparing three different air coolers to the uh, Ryzen with the Ryzen Spire as, as one of them. And we're going to be able to compare in the end to the temperatures we're getting with the all-in-one cooler so that you guys get a really detailed look at the noise levels, the performance you can expect with the you know, basic air cooling compared to all-in-one and also, uh, you know, what type of investment you should be looking for to get better performance out of your system with, a, with the Ryzen 7 1700. So like I said, once again, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Likes are, appreciate, are appreciated. If there's anything you did not like about the video, let me know as well. We can maybe do better next time. So I hope I catch you for my other videos. Have a nice day, guys.